Are you trying to fight in your own strength? Are you trying to pull yourself up by your proverbial bootstraps? Are you trying to do more and focus more and try harder and I can do it, I can fight? Your strength won't do. Your strength won't do. If we try and fight in our own strength, we will fail. Please hear me. I I want this to be liberating for you. You do not have what it takes to fight in this war. You don't. You don't have what it takes to win this war. But Jesus does. We're going to need Jesus to give us His strength. And the good news is that Jesus loves to give us His strength. Jesus loves for us to be strong in Him. We've In the whole book of Ephesians, it keeps Paul keeps talking about our identity in Christ, in the Beloved, in Him. Here in Ephesians 6, when he starts this, finally, I have this final thing to say, say to you. He first talks about being strong and he says, in the Lord. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about our identity in Jesus. The way that we're strong is by being strong in the identity that Jesus has given us. You see that? He's not saying be strong and you're going to fight. He's saying be strong in the way that you are so dependent on what Jesus has done and who Jesus is and that you are righteous in Christ. That you are a saint in Christ. That you're forgiven in Christ. That God is going to continue working on you in Christ. I believe the reason Paul doesn't say in Christ, but he says in the Lord. He's making sure we know Jesus is is Lord over all. Be strong in your identity in the Lord. So at least two ways that we get strength from Jesus. First, our identity in Christ. This is the foundation of how we stand against the schemes of the devil. This is the foundation of how we are. He's telling us, stand. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the schemes of Satan. And this is the foundation for how we stand in Christ. Knowing that our forgiveness, our acceptance to God, our adoption into the family, the Holy Spirit is all by grace given to us through what Jesus has done, that He gives it to us by grace through faith. Number two, he says, first he says, be strong in the Lord and then in the strength of His might. As this is, this is resurrection power. The power that lives in us is the same power, the Holy Spirit, who raised Jesus from the grave. It doesn't get more powerful than that. Did anyone agree? <laughs> doesn't get more powerful than Jesus being crucified and then arising from death to life. This is resurrection power. And what he's talking about in the strength of his might is nothing less and nothing more than the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit is the third member of the Trinity, fully God. And He is the one that comes to indwell us when we trust Jesus. God comes to live inside of us. We become the temple of God. The Holy Spirit lives in us, strengthening us, empowering us. Romans says that the very reason we know we are children of God, the reason that we have hope that we are adopted into the family of God is because the Holy Spirit causes that to well up inside of us. I know I belong to Jesus. Romans 8 says, If the same Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He will also give life to your mortal bodies. This is resurrection power. The Holy Spirit living in you, guiding, directing, protecting, strengthening you. This is one of the greatest promises that we have in the Scripture for this life, that the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you and will give life to your mortal bodies. So we ask. So we ask Him. Holy Spirit, strengthen me. Strengthen me in my identity in Christ. Help me to stand firm knowing who I am in Christ. This is the foundation. That's the way that we can start to stand against our enemy who is powerful, who hates us, and who will never stop attacking us. 